Hello, my beloveds. So today we're going to have a conversation about how to reach a goal and how to do it more effortlessly. You can do vision boards if you want, you can schedule it out, you can mind map it if you want, but there's a way that I can teach you that will really help you hit home on what you truly want and how to get to those goals. So if you're new here, my name is Michelle Pava. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a finance therapist. Now I'm not your therapist, although I am a therapist. So if you're really overwhelmed, you need to find someone local to you. But if you want some coaching or you would like some free resources, there's information below on that. And if you're struggling with this and you might be, comment below and I will make sure to address whatever it is that's going on with your goals or your struggles, challenges, roadblocks, all of that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a chart and it's going to look a lot like this that you are now seeing on the screen. And you're going to see that one lower line and then you're going to see that diagonal going up and right now I want you to focus only on that bottom line, okay? Now, you're going to put different dots in different places, not yet, but you're going to put the dots in different places as you come up with ideas. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to think about what is it that you never, ever, ever want in your life? Like what is the bottom? You do not want it. One really common one to give you a clue is homelessness. Almost everybody says, or when I bring it up, they say, yes, I never wanna be homeless. That's a good one. So go ahead and put a dot all the way at the bottom on homelessness. And that one is gonna be closer to that smaller triangle because that's an immediate one. You know you don't want that one and that will always be there. So think of that little triangle, that little point, your heart center or your gut or your spirit. That is the closest to your truth. So I want you to bring that one really close to you. Now, what else do you not want in your life? And I want you to pause the video in a second because I want you to really take time and come up with two or three items that you definitely do not want in your life. Like this is your bottom line, that's your boundary, that's your line in the sand of, I do not want this. When you do the dots, you have to think about where do they go on that? Is it super close to the homelessness one? Or is it, well, I don't want this, but it's not like I would freak out. I would be able to figure out how to get out of the situation. If it's something that you don't feel overwhelmed with, but you definitely don't want it, put it farther out towards the wide area. Okay, so now we're back and now we're going to work on the top line, that diagonal line. So what you're going to do is put the things that you do want. A lot of people, I'm gonna give you a hint, will say things like, I want to find love, or I want a deeper love, or I want more intimacy in my life, or I want more money, or I want a nice house. And they will start to put those at the top. So go ahead and just naturally go with what you're feeling and do that top line. But we're gonna come back to that top line. I guarantee you, you're gonna to have to revisit it. So go ahead and stop this video and work on that top line. I want you to come up with two to three areas that you really want in your life and I want you to chart them at the top. Okay, and we're back again. So now that you have your items hopefully at the top, what I want you to do now is look at what you put at the top. I definitely don't want homelessness. I definitely don't want to be single all of my life. I definitely don't want to gain 30 pounds, okay? They're your definites. And they're probably a little bit more clear, but your top line is probably a little bit more vague. Now I'm going to tell you why the vagueness is not good, whether it's at the top or the bottom, and I want you to get more clear on both the top and the bottom. So if the bottom of this chart is a little bit more vague, what that means is you're always a little bit too close to that bottom line because you're not clear on what you don't want. So if you're not clear on what you don't want, you're not making enough effort to stay away from what you don't want. You have to be very clear about what you don't want. And I'm not one of those people that has this idea that, oh, if you think about it, it comes true. I want you to think about what you definitely do not want in your life. And I need you to write that down very, very specifically so that you can make one to three plans or mini goals on how you're going to stay away from that. For instance, if you say, I don't wanna gain weight, okay, that's, that's kind of vague, or I don't wanna gain 30 pounds, okay, that's a little bit better, or I don't wanna gain 30 pounds this year, 
that's even better, okay? Now what I want you to do is write one to three strategies that will keep you from gaining 30 pounds this year. And once you have that, you're going to feel like that bottom line is farther away from you because you're already in the prevention stage, not just the fear stage. Let's look at the top line. If the top line is, I want a nice house, well, okay, what does that mean? Because there's so many nice houses. You could be in a small trailer, you could be in a cabin in the woods, you can be in a high rise apartment, you could be in a house by the beach. There's so many different types of houses that are nice. So be very specific on exactly what you want. Now, I was talking to someone recently and we were talking about a nice house and here's where you need to be very specific and I'm going to tell you about something that recently worked out with me using this very dynamic. So for instance, I knew I wanted to have another investment property, but I wasn't sort of just like wide open with like any investment property. I was very specific that I wanted it to be very local to me. I wanted it to be on a ground or basement floor. I wanted it to be in a very sturdy building and I wanted it to be very near shopping and perhaps even something that was really beautiful. So instead of just going after any and every apartment that I saw or condo that I saw for sale, I had a very clear idea of what I wanted. Now I will say that I was hoping for a two bedroom or two bathroom bigger apartment. So what ended up happening is because I was very clear on what I wanted, not just vague on what I wanted, but very clear on what I wanted, I was able to better see and better pick out the opportunities that were in front of me. And I definitely looked at a couple of two bedroom, two bathroom condos and apartments, and they were great, but they weren't perfect. Then I found another one that was a one bedroom, one bath, but it was in a beautiful area, close to shopping, closer to me. So I was able to get something that was almost exactly what I wanted, that was more beautiful than I even envisioned because I was being so very clear on what I wanted. So the opportunities that were in front of me that didn't quite fit the bill, almost seemed like they didn't even catch my interest. But when I saw this one, because there was something about it that was innately what I wanted, I was able to quickly look at it and purchase it. So I want you to look at what exactly do you want? So I was just speaking to someone recently and she said she wanted a vacation house for her children to visit. So some of her children are adult children and she was thinking that it would have to be a very big house with a lot of bedrooms. And she may get that, but I was giving her the idea of, since it was about her children visiting, maybe all she needed was a three bedroom with a really big great room so that everyone could be in that great room. And maybe the bedrooms could just have cots and Murphy beds and bunk beds or whatever, but it wasn't so much about them sleeping in a way that was long-term, it was really about them visiting. So the great room and a country kitchen would probably be more important. And the why behind why you want something is going to be much more important than what you think you want. So I want you to go into the top area that you're looking at and go into why you want it and how can you be creative. Now, this is why this exercise really works. I think even better than a vision board or a lot of other goal setting types of activities. And it's because it allows you to be very creative and it's because it is visual, it is very logistical, it is charted and all of this together gives you lots of clarity. So you're thinking outside of the box while you're getting clarity and that is the recipe for solutions. You can keep it, you can look at it once in a while, but it's not something that you have to because once you're clear on what you want, it's going to be very obvious to you. Your brain is magical in that it has a way of picking out exactly what you are honed into. So for instance, if I tell you that you're going to notice red stop signs or red birds, red cardinals or red feathers more often, the next time you see something red, you're going to remember what I just said. And you're going to actually be looking for things that are red because you want to believe that you are going to be more empowered. And that's a little bit of how some of the law of attraction works. It plants seeds to inspire you, but it's not that external. A lot of that magic is within you. So if you have the power to see more clearly and to be able to grasp opportunities that are in front of you because you're seeing more clearly, you're more apt to reach your goals. You're also more apt to not self-sabotage 
because you've already worked on that bottom line and you've already started redirecting because you're preventing some of the things that you absolutely don't want. And if you're preventing them, you're not just stagnant preventing them, you're actually going in the other direction, which is what we want. So I would love for you to tell me how you're doing with this, if you like this exercise, if you need help with this exercise. Go ahead and comment below and let me know. Now I have another video for you and I can't wait to hear from you to find out how this exercise went for you.